Hello and welcome to section 2, Tips for Visualising KPIs. In the first video, we'll be looking at how to use custom formatting or shape to display up and down arrows, something that is commonly used in KPI reporting. So we'll warm up with a very simple scenario. Using the standard Superstore retail data set, where profit ratio is greater or equal to zero, display a green up arrow, and where it's negative, display a red down arrow. We'll start with a warm up of a very simple example. Using the standard Superstore data set, where profit ratio for each subcategory is greater or equal to zero, display a green up arrow. Where negative, display a red down arrow. So first step, let's create the profit ratio calculation, which is a sum of profit divided by a sum of sales. bring that onto the view and I'm just going to go ahead and change this to a percentage, a percentage of one decimal place. Next I need to add the arrows and you might be inclined to place something onto shape but a trick is to actually insert a custom format incorporating the up and down arrows as an image. So that involves going to default properties number format and clicking on custom. And this is where I also get to depict where it's a negative percentage. Do I want to show a minus or do I want to show it in a bracket? And I'm going to choose bracket this time. And also retaining the one decimal place display. Where it's zero, display it as a zero or as a dash. So for the positive, now I'm ready to paste in my up arrow as a text. And where it's negative, I'm going to paste the down arrow as an image. and then OK. Now we just need to colour code the text and the easiest way of doing that is by writing a true or false calculation otherwise known as a boolean so whether profit ratio is greater or equal to zero it either meets this condition or it doesn't meet this condition. And do bear in mind that you can of course specify more conditions than what I'm doing right now. So I've just dropped that into colour and the final step is to modify the colour legend so that if it's a down arrow then it's red and if it's an up arrow then it's green. And there you have it. Let's now suppose that your aim is to only colour code the up and down arrows whilst leaving the text uncoloured. And if that's the case then you'll have to first delete the up and down arrows from your custom formatting. The next step is to actually drop another instance of that Boolean calculation into shape as well as colour. Okay, let me just expand that a little bit. I now have to assign the respective shape to the respective result. and I'm going to choose from the filled shape palette. And finally just increase the size. And this is how to use either custom formatting or the shapes marks card to display conditions with up and down arrows.